In this video, we're going to go through the process of preparing a boundary for mapping purposes. Now, once you have Google Earth opened and you have navigated to the area that you want to create a boundary for, the first thing to do is to make sure that the terrain layer is turned off so that you can avoid any distortion when you are creating your boundary. So I'm going to uncheck the terrain layer and then you can head over to the add polygon tool in the upper menu. I'm just going to left click on that. This window is going to open up. Make sure that you do not close this window you can just left click hold and drag on the title bar to move it somewhere to the side but make sure that it stays open until you have created your boundary now your mouse cursor is going to transform to this crosshair all you have to do to start drawing the boundary is to just left click with your mouse button so i'm going to head over to the upper left corner of this parcel here and i'm going to left click once to create a point and then I'm going to go to the bottom left corner left click again this is going to create a segment between the two points and I'm just going to continue this process by left clicking on each corner to create a boundary outline now with that done I'm going to drag the window back again in the middle and I'm going to give this boundary a name so under the name field I'm just going to call this boundary then I'm going to head over to the style and color tab and from here you can control how this line and the polygon feel of this this boundary is looking now I'm going to change the line color just by clicking on the color swatch under the line section and let's say that I want to make this a yellow color I'm going to select the yellow swatch and press ok I can increase the width of the line to something like four units and the opacity is going to control how transparent the line is I'm going to leave it at 100 in order to make it fully opaque under the area section you can control how the fill of this polygon is looking I'm going to select a red color for instance and I'm going to press OK. The opacity will control the transparency. In most cases when I'm creating boundary outlines I'm going to leave this at zero in order to make the fill completely transparent but if you want you can make it fully opaque by setting it to 100 or you can have anything in between zero and 100 depending on your preferences. Now if you prefer you can just skip this entire process and not set any style and color to the polygon. And with that done I'm going to press OK. Okay, now all that remains is that we save out this boundary to a KMZ or KML file so that we can share it with other people or keep it for our reference. To do that, I'm going to right click on the boundary under the places list and I'm going to choose to save place as. Now I'm going to navigate to a place on my hard drive where I want to save the file to and I have to choose what file type I want to save the boundary to. We have two options, one is KML and the other is KMZ. For the most part, they serve the exact same function, but there are instances in which it it is a better idea to save the file as a KML. For example, if we were to use this boundary for flight planning for drone mapping missions, then you should save the boundary as a KML. This is because some software like, for example, Drone Deploy cannot read KMZ files in order to prepare the flight plan. So if you are working with us, for example, it is always required that you send the boundary as a KML in order that we are able to load it inside of the flight plan planning software. Otherwise, we will have to spend some of our own time to convert the file from KMZ to KML. While it only takes a minute to do, when we have hundreds of projects, this time starts adding up quickly. But regardless of who you're working with and what the intended purposes of the file are, it is always a safe bet to save a boundary as a KML file. And with that done, I can just click on save. And now the file has been written to my desktop, so I can just send it as it is to whoever needs it. And with that done, this wraps it up for this video. Thank you very much for your time and attention.